Let's see if that's like our words. Yeah. Okay. That's a question. Okay. Words. Is there a start time? You ring a bell or something? Oh. Okay. So, um, hi. I'm Kyle from Glimpse. I hope everyone is doing well. This. These are recent moments. My roommate's name is Mo. These are recent special moments occurring in the last month or so of his life. The late clicker. Some of these moments were captured with a professional camera. Um, these moments were when he needed something with high resolution and lots of special features. Some of these other moments were captured with an action camera, such as GoPro, when he took a skiing trip or when he was rock climbing. He needed something with rugged mounting, rugged mountings and casings, so he could throw it around and it wouldn't break. <clears throat> Very delayed clicker. And some of these moments were captured with a smartphone. Um, and the smartphone captures the most amount of use cases, I would say. And it's really good for capturing something static like a building or if you want to upload a selfie to Snapchat. But smartphones are convenient up to a point, smartphone cameras, that is. There are many moments delayed clicker in Mo's life recently where the smartphone wasn't the ideal camera, specifically when he was doing something interactive such as skateboarding or when he was taking the ferry and he was near a um, near water, or if it was a special environment, like when he was hiking. I was thinking about this recently, the uh, fact that it's difficult to take pictures in an interactive environment, when you're doing something interactive in certain types of environments, and, um, and when you're taking lots and lots of pictures, when I took two big trips. In 2011, I went backpacking through Europe, and I wanted to take a lot of pictures in every single city I went to, and I saw this new city every three days. And recently, uh, not too recently, I went to Thailand to experience really authentic Thai culture and go to the full moon party, not really. Um, and I actually gave my phone to my friend because I didn't want to have my smartphone out when I was on a beach and when I was getting my body paid or whatever. And, and going out and, and doing things. So I didn't even have the option to take the picture that I wanted to. I would get these texts from my dad saying, where are those pictures? You're going to these amazing places. I've been out of the country once in my life and I can't believe you're going around the world. The fact is, people want to take pictures and videos regardless of the circumstance. It's a completely new shift in the mentality we have towards photography. Right now, if I wanted to take a picture of the first time I'm publicly sharing this company, which it is, I would have to, well, set down my clicker, uh, go into my pocket, unlock my phone, this phone doesn't have a shortcut, and then take a picture, lock it back, put it in my pocket. Well, that is time consuming, and there are a lot of instances where that's just too long, the photography is about capturing the moment. What if I could go like this and touch my index finger to my thumb? That is what Glimpse is developing. This is a wrist-worn camera that's operated by hand gestures. We use electrical impedance tomography, a special type of technology which is relatively the best technology to use for recognizing hand gestures. Take a look at this quick demo where you can see the light flashing when I do the gesture I just did for you. So right after we take a picture, usually if I take a picture of, say, my roommate Francois over there, if I have my phone, I want to send him that picture. And I can use WhatsApp, I can use SMS, I can use email. It's manual. Especially when I have to send a picture to multiple friends, then it becomes a huge pain in the ass. I could put it on Facebook, but what if Francois wants to text it to someone else? What if he wants to tweet that picture? Then he has to go to Facebook, download the picture, and then send it to someone else. It's extra steps, and it's pretty time consuming. It's why I have a picture of a dog as my profile picture on Facebook right now. It's because none of my friends have sent me the pictures that they take on me when I go on these trips or when I'm doing anything else. So Glimpse has a um, solution for this, which is when I have the camera on and Francois has the camera as well, or he has this little credit card-like thing in his wallet, when I take the picture, the pictures or the videos automatically sent to him without either one of us doing anything. So you build up a friend's contact list, and everyone that you is your friend, when you take a picture of them, and they have the device, or they have this little credit card-like thing in their wallet or purse, 
the picture is being automatically sent to them. This is Nick Woodman recently in a Forbes article last year saying, Thank you. And then here from the...